I have project data here with information about project types, project name, project manager, project status, and project completion. I want to show you how you can create a dashboard like this based on that data with slicers filters that even sheet viewers can use. We'll start by creating a sheet for our dashboard by clicking the add sheet button in the bottom left corner. And then we will rename our sheet to dashboard and we'll create a title on the sheet also called dashboard. We're going to need more room for this title area. So we'll start by also expanding out that first row to give it more height. Let's create this scorecard now where it gives the average percent complete. We're going to do that first in our main data page here. We will start by selecting the column we want to use in the data and then going to insert chart. The chart tool is open on the side. Under setup, we will go to chart type and choose at the very bottom scorecard. And because we want not one value out of this, but the aggregate values, we'll check off aggregate and we want to aggregate these by average. We want to get the average. We can customize it by changing the title, for example, under the customize tab, chart and axis titles, and then we can give it the full title as we want and all set. When we want to go ahead and move this into our dashboard, we'll click on the three dots in the top right corner of the chart and choose copy chart. And then our dashboard, we will use paste and move it and resize it. And there's our first chart. Let's take a look at this pie chart now. To we'll create the pie chart, we will select our status column back in the main page, insert, chart, and this time we will choose the chart type of pie chart. And once we've done that, our chart is pretty much exactly as we want it. It's already going to be aggregated. Row one is already headers. So we will customize it now by going into the chart and axis titles and rename it. We can copy this into our dashboard by clicking on the three dots, going to copy and pasting it into our dashboard. And we have our second chart. We also have a pivot table in our demonstration dashboard. To add a pivot table, all you need to do is copy it. So I have a pivot table I've already created here. You can see the related video for how to create it. I'm going to select the data from the pivot table, copy it, and I'll go to my dashboard and paste it in where I want it and I have my pivot table automatically in my dashboard. The next thing I can do to make my dashboard more usable is add slicer filters. So when you create a dashboard like this, you want everything to be based off of the main sheet of data. So all the charts we based off of here, we're gonna base our slicers off of here too. To start off, we'll go back to our main data, select all the data, and we're going to go to the data menu and slicer. And this adds in a slicer. We don't want it here, so we'll go ahead and click on the three dots to copy it, and then we'll go to our dashboard and paste the slicer in. Now we'll click on the three dots and choose edit slicer. That opens up the slicer options on the right side. And we want to choose which column, and this is going to be a filter for us. So we can have filters where someone can select a specific project and then see the data for it, for example. We can go ahead and copy this slicer and paste it as many times as I want here. I'll have a couple of these, and then all I need to do is click on the dots and choose edit to select the other types of filters that I want in these slicers. So we've got project name, project manager, and we'll choose project type. And now when someone wants to actually use this dashboard, they can either select a specific project manager and see all of the data adjusted automatically for that person, for example. They can actually even add more slicers and all of the information is going to update based on that because all of our slicers, charts, and pivot tables are based off of the same main data.